So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Spatial. Today, I will show you to the introduction to our Google Earth engine. So let's get started. So what is a Google Earth engine? A Google Earth engine is a cloud-based geospatial analysis platform that enables a user to visualize, analyze the satellite images of our planets. Scientists and non-profit uses uh, the Earth engine for a remote sensing research and predicting the diseases, outbreaks, natural resource management, and more. So, Google Earth Engine is a platform for petabytes of geospatial data analysis and visualization platform. It stores a large volume of an Earth observation satellite imagery. It organizes the data and makes it available for a global scale for a geospatial data analysis. So, in Google Earth Engine, we have a variety of satellite imagery that is available, like 40 years of land, uh, Landsat data, and Sentinel-1 images, Sentinel-2 images, and MODIS. So, the Google Earth Engine has the satellite image, it has a time-lapse ability, machine learning, and supports Java and Python API. So this is an official site, site uh, link for the Google Earth Engine, where you can download, where you can download and extract information using our Google Earth Engine. So this is an official site for a Google Earth Engine. To sign up, you have to log in to your existing Google account. So let me show you that. So this is an official Google Earth Engine platform. So this is an official site for Google Earth Engine. Link will be given in the description in our video. So let's dive into our Google Earth Engine. So here we have an explanatory video about the Google Earth Engine, a planetary scale platform for uh, Earth science data and analysis. So here the explanatory part about the mean about the Google Earth Engine. So Google Earth Engine combines the multi petabytes catalog of satellite imagery and geospatial database with the planetary scale analysis capabilities. The scientists and researchers and the developers uses the Earth Engine to detect the change and map trends and quantify the difference on the Earth's surface. The Earth Engine is now available for commercial uses and remains free for academic and research uses. So it is like a satellite imagery and with the algorithm you can uh, apply for the real world applications. So here you can able to uh, time lapse your uh, the satellite imagery that is you can able to uh, see uh, see our impact on the earth from a new perspective through 27 years of satellite imagery so you can compare the uh, time lapse of 27 years of satellite imagery using this option of time lapse in that is available in google earth engine So in Google Earth, and, uh, Google Earth Engine, we have uh, ready-to-use data sets. So public data includes more than 30 years of historical imagery and scientific data sets updated and expanded daily. So it contains over 40 petabytes of geospatial data instantly available for analysis. So it supports Python and uh, JavaScript to harness the power of the Google's cloud for our own uh, geospatial analysis. So here the scientific and humanitarian impacts the scientists and non-profit uses the Earth Engine for remote sensing research and predicting the disease outbreak, natural resources and the management. So you have a variety of case studies here. So this is a main website of uh, Google uh, Earth Engine. 
Now let me show you the time lapse option in uh, Google Earth Engine. So you can see the time lapse feature in uh, that is available in uh, Google Earth Engine. So here the deforestation in Madagascar. So now let me show you another location. So this is a mining area from 1984 to 2020. So time lapse is a global and zoomable video that lets you see how the earth has changed over the past uh, 22 years. So it is made from uh, a cloud free and annual mosaics one for each year from 1984 to 2016. Now it is available till uh, 2020. So it is an interactively explorable by uh, University Creates Lab and uh, Time Machine Library, a technology for creating a viewing and zoomable uh, time lapse that is available in the Google Earth Engine. So in this in the Earth Engine, there's over 5 million satellite image has acquired for past three decades from five different satellite images. The majority of the images is a Landsat, which is available in the USGSN Earth Observation uh, Program. And uh, Landsat date is available, Sentinel-1, 2, and, uh, and MODIS. Now I will show you the data sets option that is available in uh, Google Earth Engine. Let me show you the data sets. So here is the planetary scale platform for earth science data and analysis. So let us uh, view all the data sets. So we have a climate and weather data, uh, data sets. In that we have a surface temperature, climatic data for the entire globe. And uh, we have atmospheric and weather data. So now we have a uh, second data that is imagery. We have Landsat images, Sentinel images and uh, modus and even we have a high resolution uh, high resolution imageries the third is our geophysical data set so we have terrain data that is our digital elevation model and land use land cover uh, data and we have cropland data so it is the uh, cropland data is the key to understand the global water consumption and agricultural production earth engineering includes number of cropland data products such as USDA. So we have other geophysical data too. The data from other satellite imagery sensors available on Earth engine, including a nighttime imagery wow, from the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program operational line scan system. So it has a collected imagery of uh, nighttime lights at approximately one kilometer resolution. So on explore on clicking this option of explore models, you directly or you are directed towards the Google Earth Engine with all available data sets. So these are the list of data that uh, Google Earth Engine has. So now let us view all uh, view all data sets. So this is the Earth Engine data catalog. So we have variety of data you can see. So we have demogra demographic characteristics that is the population of the world version. So now let me get back. So now let us view the Landsat image. So this is the Landsat, Landsat image. So we explore Landsat. So 
So let us view the Landsat 8. So now suppose if you want to sign up, all you have to do is go to the option called sign up. Now click sign up. So after entering username and password, you will get signed into, into the Google Earth Engine. So, so this is a tutorial. So let me click next. Now let us uh, type as SRTM S R T M. So we get a variety of SRTM data. So this is SRTM Digital Elevation Data Version 4. So let me click this. So you can see that now SRTM dev is being loaded into our Earth Engine. So it is a global uh, dem. So you can see now the dem is being loaded into our Earth Engine. Now. So let me show you other options. So you can also download this dem. I will show you in upcoming videos. So now let me show you the case studies. There is an option available here. So we have several case studies like a global forest cover changes and a map of life, global forest watch, and tiger habitat monitoring, malaria risk mapping. So we have a variety of case studies included in this our main uh, website so in this video I have shown you the introduction to uh, Google Earth Engine and I will show in the, I will show you more contents uh, related to uh, Google Earth Engine in upcoming videos so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel Terra Spring Show